Now it's going to be a hot one, Claudia. And I love that um, the places that are affected, we have gotten comments that they are totally fine with the heat. So just be ready. It is coming. 805 webcams, a live look at Cambria. Gorgeous shot. You can see on the north coast, we did have a little bit more of that marine layer. It's going to be the theme overnight tonight into the early hours of tomorrow as well. Not the case though in our San Luis Obispo sky cam. We saw this gorgeous shot just a few minutes ago. I liked it so much that I'd pull it up once again. Clear skies if you're over on this side of town, but by the water, of course, we will see that deepening marine layer mainly hitting the areas of Santa Barbara County. This is overnight tonight. It's pushing into the beaches, into some of our coastal valleys as well. But as we head into the start of your work week, that will dissipate throughout the afternoon. And that is when we are cranking the heat. So as that marine layer pushes offshore, we'll start to see those temperatures come right on up. The next couple of days, the beaches are even a little bit warm as well. We're in the 70s by the beach on Monday and then Tuesday, the upper 60s. The coastal valleys will be that sweet spot in those 80 so in between the beach and the inland areas where we've got 103 on tap for the first two days of the next week. Now it's going to be staying like that into our seven day forecast as well. But let's take a look at this heat index overnight tonight by 11 o'clock is when we finally drop below 70 degrees inland places like Paso Robles, but we will shoot right back up on Monday and you can see that hitting into the 90s by one o'clock in the afternoon to start out that work week before we drop off once again and those overnight Overnight lows not very cool at all, so keep that in mind. Now, showing you the high for tomorrow in Paso Robles. If you are sending those kids off to school, it's 103, so send them off with some water and t-shirts. You don't want them to be too hot as they're headed out to the playground. Our forecast wind gusts are the only other kind of player in my forecast today. Not a huge threat. We saw some elevated wind speeds last night, but they're dropping off even more so tonight. Well below advisory level through Gaviota and Refugio, but still something to keep in mind if you are headed through the passes overnight. And we'll see them drop off to almost non-existent by tomorrow morning around 5 a.m. And they will stay a little bit on the breezy side, but nothing that we want to really worry about. Now, taking a look closer to home, your highs for tomorrow tomorrow morning. We talked about that 103 in Paso. We've got 86 in San Luis Obispo and 70s down in Santa Maria and Lompoc. Santa Barbara will be in those low 80s. The north coast, you know, is on the warmer side when San Simeon pushes into the 70s. We've got upper 60s in Cambria, Cayucas, and even Morro Bay at 72. San Miguel, that was 104. You read that correctly. And not far behind is Shandon in the California Valley. The five cities all looking to be in the 70s tomorrow. And Santa Barbara County will have some 90s scattered through Solvang, San Inez, and then upper 80s for a couple of those as well. And your seven-day forecast, get used to it for the next seven days. I told you we're teetering on a heat advisory, so we might issue that in the next couple of days for some of our interiors. But while you're in San Luis Obispo, you can expect those low 80s. And Santa Maria is going to see the brunt of that marine layer through the extended period. And Santa Barbara will be pushing almost, but not quite into the 80s. Dusty.